Hey everybody, this video is about using an uh, alternative freeware version of SPSS called PSPP. And this is just like using any freeware. So if you have a class that requires uh, Microsoft Word, you can use uh, OpenOffice instead. And what matters when you're typing up a paper is the format, how it looks, the, the outputs can be the same if you use open the open source uh, open office or if you use Microsoft Office so this is really the same thing uh, there is an available freeware version of SPSS it's called PSPP it's really clever the name they came up with for that so PSPP you can get it here through new GNU you want to make sure that you go to this site because there are a lot of predatory sites when it comes to offering free software. They can bait people in and then put a bunch of viruses on your computer. So steer clear, only use this link. In fact, I'll put this link on Blackboard so that you can just click here. Then you choose if you're on Windows or Mac. You click either this Mac ports or this installers. And then it's going to bring up a bunch of versions. This is just because it's freeware, so it's in constant redevelopment. There's not like a yearly version of it. Um, I like this second newest version. doesn't really matter. I haven't used them all, admittedly, but you could use any of these and they could work. Um, you need to know if you have a 32-bit machine or a 64-bit machine, except you really don't because the 32-bit machine will work on either one. So if you're in doubt, just click this second link down from the top on the 32-bit version, and it'll start a, a download. It will put an executable file wherever your downloads go. So just Click into your downloads, open that executable file, and it'll walk you through the setup. And unlike SPSS, it's very straightforward. It's like all kinds of software you've downloaded onto your computer in the past. Uh, and it'll just walk you right through it. And then you'll get an icon on your machine um, for PSPP, and you'll be ready to go. So I wanted to show you, give you a little tour comparing SPSS and PSPP. Um, this is SPSS if it comes up. Being stubborn. Anyway, this is a better way to do it anyway. So here's SPSS, here's PSPP. It's basically the same thing. Uh, SPSS has a few more bells and whistles and pretty icons on stuff. So the tabs you'll need for this class are file, new, open, save and save as so you have everything you need there we also transform data we'll recode variables we call it so um, you can recode here and we use the compute maybe just a little bit depending on your research question so that way you have everything you need and when we're doing our analysis we come to the analyze tab so you have everything you need there descriptive statistics we'll use compare means and regression analysis so this, is, this has everything that you need uh, to get the outputs for the course. Now, the, again, the big caution is all the mini lectures, all the instructional videos that I do will be in SPSS. So if you feel comfortable using a freeware and you think you can make it work, you have what you need here and you can get the outputs. Now, the biggest caution is that you'll have to put your outputs into your uh, written assignments. You have to copy and paste SPSS is really great. You can just copy and paste from this is your output screen uh, in PSPP. In SPSS, you can just copy and paste right from this output screen into your Word document. On this one, you have to go to, to File and Export into a .csv, like, sort of like an Excel file. It'll give you a nice looking output in Excel, um, but you'll have to export into Excel and then copy just highlight the cells in Excel, copy those, and then paste them into the assignment. So it, it adds an extra step. But those are all the caveats of using PSPP. It's like most freeware. Uh, it's not quite as pretty. It's not. Uh, it doesn't have quite as many bells and whistles, but you can use it and you can get the outputs that you need for this class. And um, one final thing is that I'm very open to helping you use this. If you want to use this, yeah, it, it's it's fine by me. If you have questions about how to do the assignment in PSPP, you can call me or 
email me or whatever during my office hours and we'll make sure you get set up on it so you don't have to worry about it that way. It's really just a matter of what you feel comfortable with.